ones for the rich, for the rich, for the rich, two, two for the rich, one for the for the rich, four for the sick ass beast, three for the rich. What's up guys? We are back for another episode of the Hotter series. Today we are somewhere in Shalam. We are here to check out somebody's boost collection. And uh, it's quite a big one. You just started collecting not long ago, about two years back. We've heard it's got quite a collection, so we are here to check it out. Let's go. Hi, my name is David, and you're watching the Hotter series. Back up boy, back up boy, cause we coming through Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? Monkey see, monkey do Younger you punk a bull, this old dude with Uncle Drew That you fucking with Uncle Drew So first things first, a proper introduction What is your name? What do you do? How old are you? My name is David, I'm 24, uh, I'm self-employed Currently also um, reselling stickers and other stuff um, I'm also launching a new website called Showcase Malaysia We'll be doing uh, shoe boxes and shoe cares um, and also sneakers and other stuff. Shoe boxes is in like that one there? Yeah, that one. Uh, those are transparent shoe boxes. Uh, it will be uh, self-produced uh, locally in Malaysia and also it will be available soon uh, in late August. All right. How did you first start getting into sneakers? It's a long story, but when I saw my first pair of um, sneakers, I really wanted it. So I went all the way for it. Uh, what year was this? It was uh, end of 2015. End of 2015. So that's very recent actually, yeah, right? That's very really recent. Uh, which pair are we talking about? I'm talking about the NMD Oreo Bleach Remnant. Alright. Yeah. Uh, you wanna bring that out? And... So like, tell us a story about this pair. Like, how much trouble you went through this or like, where do you see it or... <laughs> I, I basically had to queue for it with my girlfriend, you know, like, it's a long story but um, this pair was uh, my first pair and uh, I had to go to Sai Premier queue for it. When I saw this online, I had to tell myself like, wow, this, this pair is really nice man. <laughs> I think I had, to get, I had to get it. And uh, so it was my first sneakers. I didn't have any much uh, of a knowledge to how to get sneakers, okay. how to get limited edition stuff. So I went to find out online about it. All right, all right. And uh, the night itself, I told my girlfriend, I was like, Babe, can you uh, come and queue with me? <laughs> so how she was she, like, How did she react to that? She right? was like, uh, Since when are you into sneakers? That kind of thing. Okay. And, and why do we have to queue for this pair? And so we woke up like at 4 30 in the morning and uh, we got breakfast from McD and <laughs> went to Sai Premier and queue for it. Shout out to McD <laughs> for helping with queues. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and the queue was crazy. Like we were at, we reached there about 6 30. And there were some cars in the parking already. All the cars there were actually for the queue. Yeah, it was pretty bad because like eight o'clock was the was the time that you can go into the mall, or yeah. else the guard would, would actually allow you. Yeah. So when we went in at eight o'clock, everyone was just rushing. You rushing in, yeah. like just crowding to the entrance and to the Adidas original shop entrance, and it was crazy because. I had my girlfriend with me. She was uh, a bit scared that there would be troubles, you know. Okay. So uh, there was a bit of chaos uh, since eight o'clock during that morning, and uh, when it reaches to the tenth o'clock mark, everyone was just pushing each other. And so where were you in the in the crowd? Like, were you right in front or what? I was right in front of the entrance, near towards the shutter button. Okay. Yeah, and there was an Adidas original stuff. There as well. So too. you're you're pretty damn like front la. You're really up front la. Yeah. Okay. Pretty up front. So uh, I was because the the staff had to come out and open the shutter, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's when all the crowd just went crazy because everyone was just um, pushing each other like tuna and yeah. And uh, even the staff got into trouble. Like she 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 just got squashed and all. Oh and my goodness. I think I, I, I my girlfriend and I had to protect her as well because she was really small and. Uh, yeah, that was that was uh, my first experience in queue. Wow, it's, that's it's, uh, quite a crazy experience for it's really first crazy. Pair. Yeah, so I was a bit devastated as well because actually I didn't get it in store. I didn't get this pair in store, so uh, I went home disappointed actually, and I was like, Oh, you didn't you didn't actually get the pair? I didn't actually get oh, the pair. Oh my goodness! All right, so interesting. How did I get a pair? You asked. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I get I got a pair online from Adidas Malaysia online because uh, I saved the link. I kept on refreshing the next day and somehow it just came out with sizes and I'm like, oh, 
Okay. Got it online. Nice. <laughs> so actually, uh, all that queuing was for nothing, lah. Yeah, it was for nothing. But it was a good experience. All right. Yeah. All right. How many pairs roughly do you have? Um, roughly, like just. I think I have like 100, 100 plus, hundred thirty pairs about there. So you know, on average, how many pairs do you buy a month? Uh, looking at the stats, I guess it could be like about ten. So you're you're pretty much one like one and a half years into into this sneaker thing, right? Yeah. All right. About one and a half years. And uh, I I see you have like some some Diadoras and got some Nikes also some Jordans. Yeah. Like, what what do you feel about sneaker collecting after like these two years? Um, I started off with Adidas Boost first. Uh, my mm. collection was Boost. Until then, I got into Nike. Uh, only very recently, I got into Asics and uh, yep. Diadoras. Yep. So throughout the, um, this period, um, I really like my collection actually. Okay. Although it's not everything, but I treasure each and every one of them. So uh, next pair, like which pair is your next favorite one? Maybe it could, it could be the Kif, Flamingos and Copas. <laughs> Bad idea. So, uh, tell us about this pair. Why why is it so special to you? Special because um, I actually stayed up the whole night to prepare myself to to, to cope online for this one. And <laughs> okay. Yeah, because this this both of these is Kif exclusives. All right. Yeah, so, uh, and uh, it's really not easy to get through Kif website because yeah. it's a uh, one thing is it's covered with bots. Yeah, bots will and it's Kif of course. Yeah, and it's Kif. So, bots will actually get much harder to cope this, and I had to really find a way to, to you know, cope it manually and find a way to, to cope it as easy. I mean, as the best, the best that I can. Oh, okay. Because manually, I, I there's there's a few ways to go through it manually, and uh, it has to be there's a certain method to to use this Spotify. Uh, Spotify, <laughs> Shopify, Shopify, Shopify. Right, right, right. uses Shopify's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, website. So there's a way to actually try to cope as quick as you can through Shopify websites. Okay. Yeah. So if anyone wants to know how to do that, hit him, hit him up on the personal DM. <laughs> uh, he will charge you a hundred ringgit for that secret. Uh, I'm his new manager now. <laughs> Anyways, next pair. <laughs> Uh, which pair is that going to be? Uh, maybe this one would be... Oh boy! And also, maybe this pair. Yeah, these two pairs. Should be something that everyone would be looking for. <laughs> so, tell us a story about this. I saw someone selling it online. So, yeah. This okay. Uh, and uh, I, I approached that guy, but I wasn't really uh, keen on buying because of course the price tag was a bit too high. Yeah. What, what was what was he asking for? He was asking for about four K plus USD. Yeah, US dollars. But I wasn't you no, know, I wasn't have having much thought about it yeah. because uh, yeah, the price was a bit too high. So I only told the seller like, you know, if you could do me a better price, of course I I, I would be considering. But he has a lot of other buyers as well. Offers. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, please go ahead if you have a higher offer. Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, after two or three weeks, he came back to me. Long story short, uh, he just said that I'm more comfortable dealing with. Okay. Yes. Wow. So he just decided to sell me that pair at 4K USD flat. Yeah. He's from Singapore. Uh, okay. Yeah, and uh, he actually flew down. Uh, to wow. KL. He delivered it to you personally. Yeah. Yeah, like, of course, it's four thousand dollars. Yeah. But. He has a he has an event to to attend in. Oh, KL. okay. So this this one is the Red Apple NMD New York exclusive. Same story, but just that uh, the seller <laughs> did you know courier it to me through FedEx. All oh, right, right. So, so, but it was a yeah. It wasn't a four thousand dollar. Yeah, it's a uh, half of that. Half of it. Yeah, still it. still a lot though. Yeah, still a lot. <laughs> okay. So um, but I really like uh, both pairs actually because okay. the uh, I'm 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 a sucker to red colors sometimes. So you have to choose between these two. Mm. Which will you choose? Very hard to choose, bruh. It's, it's, I mean, they, they, are, they are my favorites, so, but mm. of course, the fire starter will be much easier to fit in and okay. uh, the red because of the color, right? Yeah, because yeah. of the color, yeah. But, uh, yeah, both fits. So, it majority of your uh, collection consists of boosts. So, I've got a question here like, uh, a lot of these 
older heads who have been around in the scene for a long time, they kind of like don't really uh, like this whole boost thing. They feel it's a bit too much, you know. And then like if the craze is crazy, the resale market is crazy, yeah, I understand. and and um, they feel like uh, Adidas is overproducing boosts, you know. And that's why a lot of these like older sneakerheads are not really into it. Like they feel like oh. It, you're like a newbie who just started, so you know, like oh, boost. You know that that's their sentiment, right? Yeah. So what what do you think coming from a person who who is who just started about not more than two years? I totally respect their their thoughts, their decisions. You know, because uh, yes, they have been in the scene for a very long time. But I just do what I like sometimes. Boost is what got me started, hmm. and they, they they might have got, got started with Jordans, um, other brands. I respect that totally. Mm. You know, sometimes I look up to them as well. It's because uh, of my own favorite uh, that gets me going mm. to this. So I, I have no I have no hard feelings on 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 if they have a negative thought about it. It's limited to their opinion. Yep. Yep. So and and it, and it's also for my own um, for my own hobby. You can call it. Sometimes it's not even a hobby, sometimes it's not even a lifestyle already. <laughs> yeah. Each individual to have their own favorites. Mm. They can you know they, they can be a long time uh, uh, Jordan fan and I think I think I'm one of the long time boost fan as well. So maybe let's just um, keep it that way sometimes. Agree to disagree. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Yeah, maybe agree to disagree as yeah. well. Yeah. I did get robbed. You did get robbed. I lost eight pairs. Shit. Yeah, I lost eight pairs, uh, my shoes, yeah. Uh, in my house. I lost, Here? Yeah, I lost 8 pairs of shoes. Someone came and stole it. I have no idea bro. When I decided to do a spring cleaning for all my shoes, um, and sort of did a stock check or stock count for my shoes as well. 8 gone. Yeah, and it's 8 gone. Ooh, look at that. Mas Yad. Mas Yad, yeah. It's my, my latest pickup. Yeah, Currently. You wanna tell, how, how did you get that? To be honest, I got it from, uh, from a reseller. Yeah, it wasn't easy to put. There was a there was an opening in uh, Dover Street Market. Yep. In uh, Singapore, so uh, the guy cooked, so I got it from him. Human elemental composition, but to me the most uh, exciting part about this shoe is actually the box. Yeah, the box. The box is crazy. <laughs> if you have not uh, seen the box, Google Marziat Nike and see the box. <laughs> Tell me about that Diadoras. Yeah. It's like it's it's I, I noticed you have like what three to four pairs of Diadoras? Yeah. Uh, so how did that happen? Like you know you got Bose, you got Jordans, you got Nikes and suddenly it's like Diadoras. Yeah, like after a while um I just uh look up to more brands, uh, you know, like try to learn their their stories. Just recently like the Goodwill Out came out with some collabs mm -hmm. and I decided to also just uh, cope a pair and have a look at it and it's actually super clean. Uh, their, their finishing is really nice. They, they don't really come out with collabs to be honest. Uh, the Google Elf, Ronnie Fix. Ronnie Fix are also very nice. Uh, one of it is the, the latest collab would be the Volcano 2.0. Yeah. yeah, so that one was also really hard to cope online but uh, I cope a pair. These two boxes were also um, A6 Kif. Uh, they came out with a very very nice box and uh, some collectibles as well. Uh, yeah, this this is the gel light. Ronnie put a lot of effort in this uh, yeah, this collection. Uh, you know, comes with uh, some pins. Pins, yeah, and uh, a lot a lot of things that yeah. he include. Yeah, it's this because I think this is more towards the hiking collection. So that's why he put some goodies in as well like uh, an extra sock as well oh okay yeah like stunts stun socks yeah pretty nice i would say from uh, from ronnie to come out with this pair mm. it is the gel mine it's the salmon toe it's set it's extremely sexy i didn't cope the gel light look at that Will you be wearing this? Yeah. Um, I don't think you can. Because yeah. uh, you have to up one size when it comes to gel mine. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you can sell it to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Okay, what? I can tell this is pink. 
This is not pink. Isn't salmon pinkish? It's a salmon yeah. orange. Yeah, it's an orange. Okay, okay. I'm going to put this back now. Pink. <laughs> wait, 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 I saw you have another pair. Yeah. Over here. Yeah! Oh yeah. That's also the... Uh, this is a 3.1. Uh, by Ronnie Fig as well. I know Ronnie came out with, with a lot of collabs with E6 but uh, of course I recently only got into his collectibles so the ladder on this is crazy. Crazy. Yeah. If only you can smell this guys. You can smell steak bro. <laughs> so uh, one question. What does your parents have to say about this? They're cool with it bro. You gotta be damn cool with that, yeah. Uh, of course, a lot of parents would be freaked out when they have so many uh, collections, but um, yeah, I, I feel great about it because I don't get any nagging from my parents. Nice. <laughs> right. Hi, my name is David Chang, and thanks for hanging out with me on the Honda series. Oh, 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 oh,